Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another compliance tip of the week. This week we're talking about CMMC Control AC.L2-3.1.3. Control the flow of CUI in accordance with approved authorizations. So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, try to understand all of this CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SP-800-171 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload, well, I've got great news. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's get into it. So this is a very important control when it comes to CMMC level two. This control is all about having some sort of a policy in place, which dictates who what systems and how CUI can flow or be stored, processed, or transmitted. That's what the law says. So why is it so important? Because without an actual policy, like a written policy, this is not like active direct or like a group policy or anything like that. It's an actual written policy, okay, uh, or guiding document in place. It is too easy for even small organizations to accidentally allow access to CUI by unauthorized users. Again, how do your people really know when, where it's okay to you know, send CUI or how to send CUI? The easiest way, and again, the way that compliance mandates you do it, you basically have to have something that I call the CUI flow control policy. Okay, it's a written policy that tells your organization, hey, this is where it's allowed to go creating a nasty security problem, okay, if you don't have one, right? So that's the whole point is if you don't have one of these flow control policies, you got a really nasty security problem because no one really knows. It's not in writing. You can't refer back to it how they were supposed to transmit data, process data, store data, that kind of thing. Now, the idea with CMMC control AC.L2-3.1.3 dot 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 dot. dot. Now, I got to tell you, it always helps if when I prepare the slides, they're actually there. But in this case, they're blank. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm not looking at the teleprompter. All right, so hey, uh, back on this control, control three, right? AC.L2-3.1.3. Here are the assessment points, okay? Number one, they're gonna look at determine if information flow control policies are actually defined. Okay, so right here in this moment, they're basically saying, hey, look, I wanna see a definition of how CUI is supposed to be flowing. That should trigger to you written policy, all right? If we were giving a sample answer, I would say the organization has a CUI flow control policy in place. Uh, authorized users are trained on this policy, right? That's important. Uh, only authorized users are given access to CUI with written requirements, right, the policy, to follow the CUI flow control policy. That's how you're gonna determine if, if it's controlled and in a policy. All right, now, uh, assessment point number two, determine if methods and enforcement mechanisms are controlling the flow of CUI as defined. Uh, or are defined. Methods and enforcement are defined via Active Directory, right? Maybe we got some group policy in there, uh, but most importantly, the CUI flow control policy. And then maybe we throw in a little risk management SOP because of course, uh, you're gonna be doing some risk management on how your CUI is flowing to make sure that you're uh, essentially, uh, you know, you, you've considered what the risks are of how the CUI is flowing. All that stuff's really important. Now, point number three, determine if designated networks, excuse me, determine if designated sources and destinations, i.e. networks, individuals, and devices uh, for CUI within systems and between interconnected uh, systems are identified. Uh, again, if I was going to give you a sample answer for that, I'd say, hey, look, networks, individuals, and devices handling CUI are all identified, okay? Uh, they're identified via network documentation, right? You got all that documentation, network maps, et cetera, uh, CUI flow control, and then maybe we're also calling out Active Directory because that's what's going to identify who the people are and you know tie them to what they're doing. Um, determining if authorizations for controlling the... And by the way, another example that might be in there is your physical premise access system, right? Like your door fob system. That way for physical CUI, which is also something to be considered, uh, maybe not in that last example, but physical CUI has to be accounted for too. So how are the people flowing in and out of the building? Do you have accountability that they're in the building? Do you know who touched the CUI? Do we have video cameras up on the wall? All of those things could be potential answers. Uh, point number four, final point, is it four? Five? Five. Yeah, there's five points you're looking for on this one. Determine if approved authorizations for controlling the flow of CUI are actually enforced. Now, we got to actually prove that we're following the policy and that this stuff is actually enforced. So again, we would probably demonstrate during a CMFC uh, certification review or assessment, we'd probably be showing them Active Directory, some group policy stuff. 
uh, system access and file uh, system permissions, right? Who's actually got access? Maybe we demonstrate that XYZ user can't get into a folder that has CUI, their permissions denied. Uh, and uh, our uh, systems are all in place in, to enforce approved authorizations and CUI access. So again, those are some really, really great examples uh, of exactly how we would do this. Now, you're gonna see this really cool cut in the video in one second because the internet's magic. So hey, at OnCall, we work with defense contractors just like you who have had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliance stuff dropped in their laps like a poorly written script by myself. We teach you how to level up and be a proper on-call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and shooting some of the most ghetto video on the internet and all that other good stuff. So if you're looking for more help getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. And if you love the content we're putting out here for you, because I really, like, clearly I'm trying so hard, all right, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or write something really funny in the comments because doing these videos is... Well, it's for you guys, and we love you. And defense contractors are who we eat, sleep, leave, and breathe, live, live, and breathe for. Yeah, anyway, well, we're all about it. Hey, you know what? Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below if you'd like me to make even worse gaffes on the next video. I'll see you on the next one.